Hey, French Horns. Welcome back. Today, I am in the Essential Elements Interactive. Hopefully, you've had a chance to register for that and kind of uh, work yourself around in that and take a look. But we really need to have a discussion today about some of the special problems that are just in French horn world. So when we ask you to be a French horn player, um, we make sure that you are a smart cookie because sometimes uh, things that go on French horn are a little bit harder to wrap our heads around than some of the other instruments. So, um, and this is going to be one of those times that you just need to be aware that your instrument is uniquely different. Um, you have been given a trumpet book instead of a French horn book for a reason. I am, like I said, I'm in the uh, Essential Elements Interactive, you can see here, and I have clicked on the French horn book is what I'm looking at right now. And you can see the French horn book here for line number 12, first flight, is kind of awkward. So it's got some uh, notes that are a bit higher than so what you've learned so far and some notes that are way lower than what you've learned so far. And so this is kind of the, the problem that we run into um, with French horn is in, in beginner books, method books, that the range is either too, a little bit too high or a little bit too low for us to be comfortable with at a beginning level. And so that's the reason that we have selected for you to play out of the trumpet book. However, when I click on the trumpet book, and if you're doing this at home, you'll want to select where it says B flat trumpet. That's a, it looks like two Bs, an uppercase B or lowercase B, and then the word trumpet. That means B flat trumpet. So if I select that, then now it looks like what's in your book. And that's great because this is a nice place for French horn to start. However, if you go up here and click the melody button to and play this back, it's not going to make the same sound that your instrument does because it's playing back in the trumpet register and not in the French horn register. So you're not going to be able to use this particular tool as we would like you to be able to do it because of the transposition of the instrument. So I do want you to keep um, the interactive book in front of you to um, there's still some things that you can be doing in here. It will still give you an idea of what it sounds like. It just won't be the correct starting pitch. So what I'm gonna do for you guys um, to compensate for that is that I will be recording for you the lines that we are passing off in class so that you will have those in French horn language, so to speak. They will, you will be able to hear someone playing the French horn. You will be able to play it in the correct key and, um, I think I can still do that with the, this particular uh, screen in front of us and make that work. So I just want to make you aware of that today that it's going to be a little bit different for you. So you'll kind of need to have both, both things working together for you. The Essential Elements Interactive page and also your book and also the videos that I'm going to make for you. So hopefully that uh, clears things up uh, a little bit for you as to why my instrument sounds a little bit strange and um, be looking for those additional supplementary videos.